This is Magic Revealed with the King of Spades. Today I'm going to show you how to figure out a card that an audience member has chosen without ever appearing to do anything to the deck. So, to begin, we are going to shuffle the deck. And now we are going to choose a random card. Let's say that our audience member chose this one. I'm going to have our audience member put the card there and cut the deck at any point. Here would do. Alrighty then. Now. This was the card that was chosen. Now I'm going to teach you how to do the trick. It's very simple. You simply have to figure out what the card on bottom was. Whenever I did the trick, I looked whenever I was shuffling at the card on, on bottom. So this one, and I kept it on bottom by turning it first and then these above it. It looks just like normal shuffling, and yet you are able to tell what the card on bottom is. In this case, the Jack of Hearts. And there are other ways to do it as well. Actually do the shuffle, and then the cards are like this, they have to be pushed in, so you turn them that way, and you push in. That way we can tell that the five of spades is on bottom. Other ways are to simply have the deck rigged up yourself, um, and just not shuffle it. However, I like to shuffle because it gives the audience, it sort of shows them, well it doesn't necessarily show, but it implies that you are completely trustworthy and not doing anything with the deck. Then you can have your audience member choose any card he wants. For this example, we'll go with the Ten of Spades. All right. From there, you ask your audience member to place the card on top of the deck. After that, you take it and you have your audience cut it at any point. It really doesn't matter where. And you take what was on bottom and you put it on top. Then it's just simply a matter of finding the card that was on bottom, but is now on top. So, there we have it, the five of spades. That means that our next card is going to be the one that was chosen, the ten of spades. It is extremely simple to do, and it makes it, it's a very powerful effect because it makes it appear as if you read their minds. You can, I've seen some people working like a psychic bit, touching their head. Now I'm going to get the information about what your card was, you know, stuff like that. However, I don't like to go for all that showmanship. I prefer just to do it like that. So because it's such an easy trick to do and really doesn't require much setup, you can do it anywhere and for anyone. Just real quick, I'm going to go over again what the trick looks like. So we have our audience put the card on top. In this case, it is the Ten of Hearts. So that's on top. On bottom, we have the Five of Clubs. So you can split it anywhere, and you can tell Five of Clubs, Ten Hearts. From there, you just have to look for the Five of Clubs. And that's how you know the Ten of Hearts was their card. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please actually hit that like button. Comment below if you have anything to say. Even consider subscribing if you want to see more from me. Thank you so much for watching.